Hey guys, um, so really quick, I just hope that you guys enjoy this video of me putting together my turtle winter enclosure. So yeah, enjoy! Okay, so here is the previous setup that I have for my turtles and I already drained it, I already took all the water out and you know, this is what it looks like empty and it's been empty for a few days and my dogs kind of went in there and did their business and it's really dirty so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and give it a really quick scrub with this broom and you know I'm not going to try and get it perfectly clean just to get all the dirt resting on top off and yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is my super secret project that I haven't mentioned at all and I wasn't planning to anytime soon, but yeah, basically it's a huge concrete aquarium that we are building right here in our living room. There's my Christmas tree and, well not our living room, <laughs> next to our living room and it's pretty much all done, like the basic structure. The only thing we need is we need to waterproof everything. We're probably gonna do a layer of like pond armor or something like that. And then both sheets of acrylic, it's, there's both of these rectangles cut out like on opposite ends. So there will be two viewing windows. We're not gonna continue with it this year anymore. Um, we have other stuff going on, other things we need to do. So for n this year, that's as far as we got. But I mean, there's not much left to do anyways. Like, it doesn't look very pretty right now because, yeah, it's not done. But I'm gonna use, like, the basic structure is done. And I'm gonna be using this whole section here to um, set up like the winter enclosure for my turtles like usually I'll do like a uh, different setup but I figured hey this is already here and it's nice and rectangular so I'm gonna set up my turtles here for the for the winter and and then when they go back outdoors we'll probably continue with this aquarium and yeah, <laughs> here it is. So here, this is about six inches high, but I do want them to have like a higher water level. So I'm gonna add like something here to hold more water. And these are just like little, little, huh? There's nothing little about this, but 
these are just so that like this is where the acrylic is gonna rest and then this is where it's gonna be silicone to and it's gonna be all around but it's really handy because this is where my acrylic is gonna be um the acrylic sheets are gonna be sitting on like like this <laughs> and I'm gonna use this to my advantage right now so that I can rise the water level a little bit more because this isn't bad like this much water but I you know the more the better Okay guys, so I fought with this thing for like two hours, like I'm not even gonna lie. I ended up taking it out and um, spread it in the floor and then I folded it according to the size that I thought would fit there and then I was wrong twice. So yeah, until I finally measured properly, kind of, sort of, but long story short, here it is, kind of put together <laughs> I have these center blocks here just keeping the liner up against here and then I'm gonna add some water right now and once the water starts pushing outward I'm gonna take the blocks out uh, so yeah it looks horrible right now I know but just bear with me Okay guys, so this thing is just about to the point where I'm gonna stop it. Maybe I'll let a few more inches of water rise and I took out the blocks already and yeah, this is what it's looking like so far and I got the thing on here and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this extra stuff I'll probably fold it in or something I don't know but yeah it's pretty much filled in and oh I don't know like it looks so ugly <laughs> I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit prettier but I don't know how right now because look at this look at this shit <laughs> I don't want this ugliness like like in the living room you know like pretty and then you come here and it's hideous <laughs> but yeah right now i'm super tired it's actually it's 5 4 a.m and i'm super tired and i don't want to keep going tonight i'll just wait till tomorrow so yeah, I'll probably continue this tomorrow, right now I really want to sleep, so yeah, bye guys.
Okay, so I just plugged in the heater right here. I plugged in the heater and the water pump and here's the hose and here's my ghetto filter that I showed you guys before in the outdoor setup. I just it's the same setup pretty much except indoors. So yeah here's the here's my ghetto filter. Plug everything up right there. And I added like river stones in the bottom, but you know, I just finished adding them, so my water is cloudy as hell. But you know, just gonna let the filter do its thing, and my water should clear up by tomorrow. It should be nice and clear. And nice and warm, ready for the turtles to go in. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up the basking area over here in this end. And yeah, this is what I've done so far. Oh, and I also stapled the liner onto this wood because it was like falling in and it was messy. It was very messy, so I stapled it all around the edge everywhere just a little bit and I'm really glad I did that because it's holding it up now and it's not like wobbly or whatever so yeah here's what it's looking like so far it's pretty ugly but uh I'll see what else I can do to make it look a little bit prettier Okay guys, so here we are an hour later from the last footage and I put this branch in there. I thought it would look cool. I think it looks pretty cool. And I also added the basking area and it's just like a bunch of stones and stuff stacked up and then under there there's like a bucket. And yeah, so that I, I didn't really want to take away like swimming space, so I didn't like there's still room in there for them to swim around under the bathroom area. And yeah, the water is already pretty warm. I might add the turtles already, I don't know. We'll see. That's it. And here's my dog. For attention. <laughs> okay, two of my dogs. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> this is his wolf costume. The only reason why he's wearing it is because it's really warm. And yeah. Here's the setup really quick. And all that needs to happen now is the water needs to clear up a little bit more. And I'll be adding the turtles next. Okay guys, so here we are 24 hours from the last footage. And as you can see, the filter did a really, really good job at clearing up the water. I'm gonna go ahead and add keto in. Okay guys, so here we are, 10 minutes later, and I'm gonna go ahead and add Penelope in. <laughs> A little messy there, Penny.
yeah, it's been about a month and a half now since I've had this set up and everything's going really, really good and I kind of hate that I have to take it apart for the spring for my turtles to go outside and to finish the aquarium, but, you know, it must be done. <laughs> but, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me and I would really, really appreciate if you guys would like my Facebook page. It's always, always, always linked in the description of all my videos, you know, with an exception of a few of them, but... You know, there's exceptions. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah. Bye, guys. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just wanted to really, really quick say Happy New Year's from me and from Lucia and from Chloe and from... Penelope and from Natasha and from the little three toed box turtle and from the little mud turtle and from Tito Bear and from the snails and from my fish. Hey guys, I'm back with a new video today. I'm finally getting to the cute. And a video <laughs> that's an epic fail. <laughs>